Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday to you. And God bless you for being a part of Prayer Team once again today. What a great weekend we had at Greater Vision. And I pray that you had a wonderful time in weekend services as well. We have some praise reports to share with you this morning. Uh, first, I do want to report on Anthony Sifford, uh, who had a great weekend visiting with family and friends in the rehab unit, and he is ready to tackle another week of therapy. He gets a break on the weekend uh, with no therapy on Sunday, uh, but we are believing for more improvements this week, and I was greatly encouraged as I uh, talked to some others who know Anthony well and they were reporting on the improvements that they were seeing. So we give God the praise for all that he's doing there. Don Farley experienced a miracle. The doctor confirmed it. His AFib cleared before the doctor saw him. The doctor said, you have received a miracle. So we thank the Lord for that intervention on Don's behalf. We need to continue praying for Navy and Milo. We did receive an update on them. They are showing very small progress. After a rough week last week, uh, Navy got moved to the conventional vent and seems to be tolerating that okay. Milo is still on nitric oxide and the high-powered vent and needs heart surgery, but is too unstable at this point to have the surgery. Uh, but they will reconsider that once he is a little better. And I believe he did show some small improvement on the vent over the last couple of days. Uh, Jim Connor, who we prayed for, uh, for many months to receive a kidney and he did subsequently receive that kidney about three months ago i received an update on jim that he is doing very well with the transplanted kidney kidney and so that is another great answer to prayer if you have a praise report to share with us this morning go ahead and post that and we can all celebrate together what the lord is doing in your life and in the life of those that we are praying for uh, in our prayer this morning, let's do remember those who are continuing to battle cancer and those going through chemo treatments. Uh, we have many children who have been on our list for quite some time who need continued prayers in addition to Navy and Milo. So let's keep praying for all of these. Uh, those with migraine headaches, uh, Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, Melania Cummins, and Marsha's co-worker uh, need our, our co-worker son, need our continued prayers in that regard. Uh, many who are battling with Parkinson's disease, and we need to continue praying uh, for Matt, Joey, uh, Vivian, Tim, my dad, and for Russ, all battling Parkinson's. My mom and dad need traveling mercies as they are returning from a visit with family in Mississippi. So let's pray God's protection upon them today, but also uh, in regard to those with Parkinson's, my mother-in-law, Beulah uh, Ziegler, has Parkinson's and also progressive supernuclear palsy. And those who follow this group closely know that she recently has had uh, two different C1 fractures um, and really needs 24-hour care by uh, professionals. And uh, so we did receive good word over the weekend that she was seriously checking into that, which is a... Um, a relief for our minds and so today the social worker is visiting with her she has an appointment there to uh, look at her options so let's just pray that God's will would be done in that situation we would really like for her to be uh, here closer to uh, uh, most of her family right here in Puxico so let's continue praying for that uh, we need to pray for those who are recovering from recent surgery a uh, gene who had surgery to remove cancer in his neck Morgan, who had uh, the surgery um, last week due to twin reverse arterial perfusion pregnancy. And uh, last word, her and the living twin were both doing well uh, after severing the blood flow to the acardiac twin. Uh, James Malloy, Robin, Jimmy Fortune, Michael Langdon, Tammy Lawson, Judy's sister Mary, Johnny Nelson, and Johnny's cousin Kathy all... Uh, continue uh, to recover from surgery and need our continued prayers. Jimmy Warren, Cheryl Chance for the Pulliam, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, Kristen's cousin Grady, 
myself, Steve Cummins, Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Becca and her mother Christina, JR, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Christian Carr, and Titus Dornbach all need healing of diabetes. Uh, we need to pray for Corey, who is due to deliver a baby on March the 9th, so just in three days from right now. Uh, Venus's mother suffered a fall last week and needs our prayers. Uh, we have others with mobility issues, including Chris Ramey and Renee and Sheila Sadler, uh, those with arthritis, Judy Coffer, Rose Brown, and Sister Judy's mom, and many with back issues, including Rebecca Williams, Bob O, Terry Nelson, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Sister Pam's daughter, Jenny, Billy Marks, Brianna Williams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Melena, Carolyn Rogers, and Becky Wilson. Uh, Sue's brother has chronic problems from a past head injury. Sister Mara Sullivan, pastor's wife in New Haven, Missouri, suffers from lupus and autoimmune disease. Uh, we have many we're praying for, uh, for continued recovery, and we'll mention those names specifically in our uh, prayer uh, as we go through our actual prayer here in a little bit uh, and forego that at the moment. But we will mention Helen, who is new on the list, having had a serious car accident Wednesday and being life flighted to St. Louis with multiple injuries. Uh, we have many with heart issues we continue to pray for. Janie Paris, nephew Blaine, Kelly B, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, who needs a heart transplant, Carmen's friend Sean, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Don and Betty Cossey, Bud Taylor, Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother, Amy D, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Mark Morris, and Sister Pam's son-in-law, who's been having some heart issues, uh, most likely due to anxiety. Uh, let's pray for Gary Shepard, Kendra, and Robbie, all with uh, chronic lung problems. Rebecca Rush has had some inflammation in her lungs recently, along with some other health issues over the past several months. Let's continue uh, to pray for her, as well as for those suffering with dementia and stomach issues, and those battling multiple sclerosis. Uh, Bob Perkins and Regina Marlin need prayer for healing of shingles. Um, Rebecca Williams has had a UTI, and we're praying that she's recovering from that. In our other health needs today, Sharon Downing is on hospice care, and then others with physical needs, Terry Mizell, Gary Nelson, Judy Williams' brother, Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, George Tibbs, and Mike and Tony Hodge. We have many spiritual and family needs to pray about. Uh, no new needs added to that list this morning, and we will call those out um, in our prayer today. And also, these will be posted individually on the feed once we um, go off the air this morning. Uh, our nursing home residents need much prayer and encouragement. Let's keep lifting them up and believing for them to receive the care that they need. Also, remember our military personnel serving overseas today for God's protection upon them and especially uh, praying for Andrew, uh, which is Judy and Mike's grandson in Romania, and Johnny's nephew serving in Japan. Let's continue to pray for peace and comfort for the Milam family as they have suffered great loss. Uh, Pastor Milam losing his wife in a car accident and himself being injured very, very, very severely. Uh, pray for their church and for their children today as well during this uh, terrible uh, time of tragedy that they are having to navigate through right now. We also received word over the weekend uh, that a lady that attended our church several years ago, Cheryl Green, um, and later on moved to Colorado, uh, that she passed away from a brain aneurysm. Um, and she did, she was an organ donor and actually in her death saved six or uh, seven other people's lives. And so that's very remarkable but we need to pray for her children, Anita and JW, who also attended our church during that time, that God would comfort uh, their hearts. Uh, we had new folks in service yesterday, and uh, God moved in their lives. We had church after church after everybody else had left. We had some people who uh, were concerned um, for their spiritual well-being and wanting to seek for the Holy Ghost and and although we did not have them receive the Holy Ghost in that setting, they definitely made some spiritual progress. And we're thanking God for all that he's doing 
we didn't end up leaving church. Uh, some of us, probably about eight or ten of us, uh, until like 1.30 in the afternoon yesterday. God is moving. Revival is springing forth everywhere. And I want to be uh, right in the big middle of it. And I know that you feel the same way this morning. Good morning to you. God bless you for joining our prayer team again this morning. Kristen, good to see you. And Johnny, good to see you. He's reporting on a good visit with his brother, Alan. Um, that's encouraging. Uh, Judy, good to see you this morning. She's asking for prayers for her neighbor, Kathy Hardy, who's recovering from a broken hip. Uh, and also her oldest son passed away on February 21st. So she needs the Lord's strength and peace in that situation. Good morning, Cheryl. Good to have Terry Schott watching with us this morning. Uh, Carmen, good to see you, and you're on our hearts this morning for your special need today. We're praying for an infusion of uh, God's strength today for you and for your family. Uh, she's reporting that Gene's cancer removal was a success. Thank the Lord for that, as he just had that surgery at the end of last week. Good morning to you, Sister Marcia. Uh, good to see you today. Um, let's see who else. Terry Nelson is here with us. Uh, Sherman is with us. God bless each of you today. Um, Carmen also reports on Helen, who's continuing to battle pneumonia. And they're considering a feeding tube, so we need to pray for a divine touch this morning. Good morning to you, Sister Pam and Sister Jamie, and others who I know are continuing to sign on here. And once we get into this, it seems like uh, something happens that uh, I kind of quit seeing uh, the updates. Uh, even when I go back and try to review them, they just don't they don't update as quickly as they should. And then as soon as I sign off, then I see we have like 27 or 30 comments. And so I don't intentionally miss those, uh, but we do also have a very abbreviated time to get all this in as many of you are getting ready to head off to work and I myself um, have to uh, shuttle off to work this morning um, as well. So. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's go to the word of the Lord. And I love to hang out in the book of Psalms, as you've probably noticed. And today we're going to read from Psalm 66. In, in fact, the entire um, first four verses of that. And then we'll read a couple verses in Psalm 34. Make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name, Selah. Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And the next verses begin uh, with a personal testimony from David about how he sought the Lord and was heard of God and delivered by his power. And if you have time this morning, go back and read the entire chapter of Psalm 34. It is so powerful. So many individual statements in that one psalm that will bless your soul uh, this morning. In many psalms, and these being no different, we are called to praise God together uh, with the poet or even together with all the earth. Often these exhortations are accompanied by testimonies as David began to share of God's salvation that give cause for, uh, for joy and worship. In Psalm 34 and 11, for example, David says, Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Psalm 107 and 2 invites us, Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, or let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We can share our own experiences of God's goodness with others so that they too will glorify him. In our church service yesterday, we heard powerful testimonies from three men in our congregation. We very seldom uh, have an open testimony service 
uh, in this day and time, and our church is no different in that regard. If we have a service like that, then it's just testimony service. We don't have anything else going on that day. We just give people the floor to share what God is doing in their lives, and that's kind of a mixed bag. Not everybody understands uh, really the proper uh, mode to be in for testimony service, and maybe that's why we don't do it as much as we used to uh, back in the day. But from time to time, we make sure we work in a few testimonies in our service. And wow, yesterday we were all blessed by the fervor and the um, expressiveness and the message of those testimonies by men in our congregation. And it added such a dimension to the worship and such a breakthrough came, I believe, partly through that in the service. It's good to be in the company of people who exhort us to praise the Lord. If we always are just on our own, it's much harder to extol the Lord at all times. Here on earth, we can exalt God's name together in church services or other meetings such as this prayer gathering with fellow believers. In heaven or on the new earth, we'll join the joyful assembly of thousands upon thousands of angels and believers from all times and places. What a powerful time that's going to be. Hebrews chapter 12 Verse 22 and 23 tells us about what we have to look forward to. And there's coming a day when our song of praise will never, ever end because we will have uh, glorified bodies. As the, as the uh, old hymn, Amazing Grace, says, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. I am looking forward to that ultimate worship service, and I hope that you're looking forward to that day when we no longer are meeting through a video feed from places all over the nation, but we are there with every nation, people from every kindred and tongue, worshiping around the throne of God. But until then, let's encourage one another. Let's exhort one another. Uh, if we will be together in our praise and worship and encouragement, then we can truly magnify his name and exalt him together and make sure that we never cease to give praise to God as he is truly worthy and deserving of it. I'm thankful for the encouragement that each of you provide for me personally. And I know that this group uh, is uh, significant in each of your lives. And I'm thankful for that as we come up on our third anniversary here in just a few days um, i'm so excited for what the lord is doing through prayer group let's pray together again this morning let's lift up the name of the lord and let's leave this prayer gathering encouraged knowing that god is hearing the things that we are praying about that his ear is tuned uh, to hear the voice of his people today he does hear your cry and don't ever be ashamed to lift your voice up to him and to simply ask him for the things that you need. But let's start out today by glorifying his name. Lord, we do want to worship you and just magnify your name. I want to be a true worshiper today that will worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to fulfill your desires today in my life. And I know, God, that each one of our prayer warriors today feel the same way. Let your power flow through our praise through our worship. Lord, inhabit our praises today. Manifest your presence among us today, God, that we can see people's lives changed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory and praise. We believe for those who are battling cancer today to receive their miracle. We pray for Bob Stanley, for Melissa Petzold, for Michelle Clark, for Cheryl, for Diane Escher, for Heather. We lift up Dennis Phelps and, for, and Sherry and Scott Lucia, we pray for Kristen's friend, Betty. We pray for Ari Bowers and for Michelle Strain's sister, Cindy. We believe for Jamie Joe's grandfather's healing today of lung cancer. For Johnny's cousin, Kathy. For Kristen's Aunt Jean with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We pray for Christy Smith and for Sawyer. For Carmen's cousin, Amanda. For Dwayne Lewis and for Claire. We pray for Alice Elizabeth and Alicia Piero and Tony Nelson for Marcia's friends, grandparents. We pray for those who are going through precautionary chemo today, Virginia 
And Darla, Lord, I thank you that in my Aunt Virginia's situation, she's now down to only four uh, chemo treatments left. We give you the praise and the glory for sustaining her through this process. Hallelujah. We pray for these children this morning. Lord, touch Bailey May. Uh, Lord, that she would be healed of these hearing problems. I can testify, Lord, that you are one that can heal hearing issues today as I have experienced that miracle in my own life. I pray, God, for Abram Page right now with GNA01 disorder, Abel Ray with PKU syndrome. There's nothing that's too hard for you today. Arlo's recovery is not too difficult for you. You are able to perform the work. Hallelujah. We give you the praise right now. We give you the glory. We're praying, God, that your kingdom would come, that your will would be done through our prayers this morning. We lift up Tano, Lopez, and Sophia. We pray for Brantley and Elsie. We lift up Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, Lord, these three children who are battling cancer. We believe for their healing. We lift up Premie Twins, Navy, and Milo again today. We believe for their complete healing and development. We pray for baby Dallas and for baby G, for Gus's grandson and for Abby, for Madison today. Lord, we lift up those who suffer with migraines and with Parkinson's disease. Those, Lord, who have been through recent surgeries, whose names we've called out in this prayer gathering this morning once again. We believe, God, that they're going to recover fully. We believe for healing of diabetes today. We believe, God, for healing for those with mobility issues and arthritis and suffering back pain this morning. We pray for Corey, Lord, as she is due to deliver now any day. We pray, God, that you would keep your hand upon her and upon her child in Jesus' name. We pray for Venus's mother, Lord, that she would recover from this fall that she's just uh, sustained uh, this last week. We pray, God, for Sue's brother for healing of his chronic problems from this past head injury. We pray for Sister Sullivan again today, believing for healing of lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. We believe for continued recovery, Lord, for each one uh, on this list today, God, that you would reach down and touch Helen, that you would touch Jewel today, touch Seth and Dalton in Jesus' name. Give strength to Pastor David Kent, Lord, that he's going to overcome this paralysis that he suffered from a fall on icy pavement in December. We believe God for his complete healing. We believe for Anthony and Wayne and Billy Huey, for Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, for Tina's mother, for Johnny's nephew Joey, for Sheila Sappington. In the name of Jesus, God be their healer today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Touch Pastor Chris Dew. We believe God for his complete healing and restoration. We lift up Paula today as she recovers from this broken foot. Brother Robert Bentley needs your touch today as he's recovering from a broken fibula. Jim Tweedy needs your touch as he continues to recover in rehab. We give you the praise and the glory today. We believe for healing for each one who has heart issues today. We believe God for healing for those with lung issues and Lord, as we've mentioned their names today, you are already aware, God, of each one of them. And you're moving right now. Lord, we know you're moving in their situations. In Jesus' name, Lord, touch Vivian. Touch Johnny's mom. Touch Kristen's friend's dad dealing with dementia problems today. Lord, those with stomach issues, touch Olivia and Natalie and Aubrey and Heather, Michael and Ginger today. They need your touch. We believe for healing of MS for Tracy and Sarah for Marty and Riley. We believe for healing of shingles for Regina and Bob. We believe for healing for Rebecca today, for Terry Mizell and Gary Nelson, for Judy's brother and for Shirley Garner, for Devin Huff, for George Tibbs, for Mike and Tony Hodge. Lord, we cover those who are on hospice care today with prayer. We believe, God, that you're able to move in the most bleak of situations, and you are there, God, you are light in that darkness today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those in nursing homes, that they would receive the competent and compassionate care that they need. Lord, that they would be encouraged in spirit today. In Jesus' name, we pray for Carmen and her family on this day. God, that you would just move in their situation, whatever that it is today. God, we know that you're there. 
with Carmen, with Grace, with their family. God, you're doing a work that we cannot even comprehend. Hallelujah. We pray, God, today for those with spiritual needs, with family needs. Touch our Mingo RCF residents. I thank you, God, for the six from Mingo RCF that were there yesterday. And so many of them visibly touched by your spirit and receiving, Lord, with uplifted hands. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in their lives. We pray, God, for our Job Corps students that you would move in their lives. We pray for Grace's best friend's family, for Jenny's sister, Lisa, Lord, to receive the mental, emotional, and spiritual healing that she needs. We lift up Jennifer and Brenda's family today. We pray for JR, for Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin. We pray for Cheryl's family and friends. We lift up Marcia and Britt's family. We pray for Josh once again today, God. We believe for your deliverance in his life. We pray for Annette and Dave, for Johnny's brother, Alan. Lord, we thank you for the encouragement uh, that is uh, happening in that situation for Johnny today. We believe, God, for Regina's family and for Holden, for Amber, for Jean, for Charles Gossett. Lord, for those who are battling drug addiction today, we believe, God, for their complete deliverance, for Ashley and Dawson and William and Frank. Lord, we believe, God, for Pam Davies and others who are caregivers of those who are struggling with addiction. We pray, God, for Chris and Michelle Clark. We lift up Judy's daughter, Jennifer, and her family. We know you're continuing to work in their lives. We thank you, Lord, for the victories that you have wrought in their lives recently. We pray, God, for Pam's family. We lift up Rebecca's mother, Dana. We pray for Debbie's daughters and their families for salvation, the Sappington family. We believe for spiritual breakthrough in Fairfield, Iowa. And Lord, in every city, God, where people are crying out to you right now, where there are hungry souls, Lord, those whose lives, are, whose very souls are in the balances today. Help us, God, to be there for them and to reach them before it's too late. We pray, God, for our global and North American missionaries who are fighting the good fight of faith each and every day and raising up new works. We pray, God, your blessing upon our camp meeting this week here in uh, Popper Bluff, the Southeast Regional Camp Meeting, that you would anoint Brother Dean and the others who are ministering the word, that the worship God would be anointed, Lord, that people's lives would be changed and the saints would be encouraged. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for our uh, Metro missionary, Tim Richmond, who will be with us this Sunday. But we believe for a powerful move of God, for a breakthrough, for people to receive the baptism of your spirit, uh, for people to be buried in your name and baptism. Hallelujah. Let it be, God, according to your will. I pray, God, that you would move in the lives of those that we're witnessing to, that there would be a breakthrough in their lives, Lord, that they would hear your voice, that they would be drawn by your spirit. We pray for our global missionaries, the Tom Yevs, the Pattersons, and so many others, Lord, who are in dangerous areas today preaching the gospel. Let your hand be upon them today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, against the tensions in our world, the tensions between nations. We know that all this is part of the prophecies of the end time, God, but we know, Lord, that you're covering your people in the midst of it all. And we know, God, that you're with us today in every situation, and we believe for your help today. Lord, we cover Andrew and Johnny's nephew in our prayers today. We believe, God, for their uh, their safety as they protect our nation and as they protect the peace around the world. We pray, God, for those who have lost someone dear to them, for Anita and JW and their family, for the Milam family, Lord, and their great loss today. Be with them this morning, we pray. Hallelujah, Lord, these needs that have been submitted as we've been praying this morning. We pray for Kathy Hardy today. Lord, reach down and touch her in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we believe for healing for her. Hallelujah, God, you are well able. You're able, God, to save to the uttermost, to deliver from every affliction. And we trust you with these things today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for the reports that are coming in this morning, Lord. We believe for Helen today as she's battling with pneumonia. We believe, God, for her to overcome 
in Jesus' mighty name. You're with us today, and we thank you for that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you, prayer team. Thank you for praying with us this morning. Let's join together again tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live. Share the video with someone that you feel will be encouraged to know that you're praying for them or might benefit from the devotion today. And that's a way that we can spread the word and minister to others through this a particular gathering. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you again right here tomorrow morning.